over to Wheel of Mutt, the entire NFL looked so different. So if that was overwhelming, you can say that luckily your Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl team does look the same as you saw last episode. Also, I recently came to a revelation. If in July, NCAA football comes out, which means that if we do a series similar to this, you know what it would be called? It would actually be the Wheel of Nut. Come on. All right, on a very serious note, it's the Super Bowl. Houston Texans season has a chance to be one of very few perfect seasons. We did not lose a single game in the regular season, and obviously we didn't lose a game in the playoffs if we find ourselves in the Super Bowl today. Texans season's been awesome. D'Amico Ryans took us all the way to the bowl. Texans offense and defense have been awesome. Our Texans team captain, Will Anderson, has been an absolute stud, along with, I mean, really, a star-studded lineup. The big question I have is, who's going to be the prestige player? So we made the Super Bowl. We're guaranteed a new prestige player. Patrick Sertan is my front runner right now. He does have a team of the year car. I wouldn't hate Devonta Adams' corner because then we're also entitled to any Devonta Adams wide receivers that might come out. Now, we couldn't use both simultaneously, but at least we could mix and match. Who knows who's going to get 99s? Offensively, I'm not going to lie. There's nobody I really like other than maybe Joe Tooney. We do have two players to add to the lineup today, so we got to keep in mind that picking up players that might be a really good prestige option is always a good idea in the Super Bowl. It's the Super Bowl, gentlemen. We've got two wheel spins. And that's it, but this is a super juice wheel. So hopefully we can make something awesome out of it. Ooh. All right, Genki 96 or 97. It's gonna come down to a coin flip. All right, heads is 96, tails is 97. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Oh, ah, oh, shit. That's so anticlimactic. I need a fucking coin. This is the only time I hate getting head. <laughs> All right, so we can get any 96 overall Genki Force player of our choice. Uh, that's the promo that Derwin James is from. Obviously, Derwin is one of the 97s, so he's a limited, but still, there's a ton of insane 96s. All right, there is, oh my God, what? There is tight end Aiden Hutchinson? I keep forgetting this dude is 6'7". Wait, this card is insane. Tight end Shadow Force Aiden Hutchinson? Obviously, there's the DK Metcalf. There's wide receiver Devontae. There's Jair. Jair's not a bad option, huh? There's also wide receiver Jair Alexander. There's middle linebacker Derek Carr. There's a right end Aiden Hutchinson. Havenstein, low key. Havenstein is probably the best pickup here. Yeah, I know. This is, this is. <laughs> I'm doing it. Dude, come on. It's right in front of me. I'm doing it. Rob Havenstein is a better pickup, probably. But low-key, you know, the Gronk that I use is a little outdated. He's really good for Vanguard. But he's a little outdated. We're getting the 93 speed, 6 foot 7 tight end, Aiden Hutchinson. Let's compare him to the Gronk that we have in currently. He's an inch taller. He's faster. He's stronger. Gronk's got him on the on the on some of the catching stats, though, and run blocking. So I wonder what makes this Hutchinson a 96 overall. Yo, wait. I take it back. His blocking stats are actually crazy. Uh, I assume... I assume he gets at least like one decent ability, right? He could get bulldozer, puller elite, or mid in elite. What are we doing? Dude, you know what I'm gonna do? I haven't done this in so long, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get Gronk's middle linebacker. When I prestiged Gronk, I was given an option. I could either have Gronk tight end or Gronk middle linebacker, but I can't use both at the same time. I'm bringing Gronk middle linebacker back. We need middle linebackers. I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner, to be honest with you. Welcome back to the lineup, buddy. We had one season with the middle linebacker Gronk, and I'm excited to have him back because he's He's insane. If you forgot, this is actually the highest overall Gronk card in the game currently. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expect Gronk to get an ultimate legend. There will probably be a drop where you get a Gronk and a Tom Brady. That's my opinion. All right, our first wheel spin lands us tight end Aiden Hutchinson and middle linebacker Rob Gronkowski. Only a Madden Ultimate Team are you gonna hear that shit. Wheel of Heights, let's go, baby. Let's go. Any single player in the NFL, but. They must be, oh, this is a, this is an excellent height. Oh, six five. They must literally be as tall as me. Any single NFL player who is six foot five, what position do I need? Let's start there. So linebackers are now absolutely insane. I don't think I can make my defense any better. I technically could get an insane D tackle, but Jalen Carter's been killing it. I don't want to mess with that. I, we got to go offense here. We probably want a right tackle. I feel like somebody for Christian Derisaw is not a bad idea at all. Just beef up our, our right tackle and call it a day. I know this is Texan season, but all of a sudden, I'm building a Detroit Lions team. I know exactly who I'm picking up. This is literally the best option, too. Like, it's it's not like I'm just picking him up because he's a Lion. This is actually the best option. Hanay Sewell, team of the year. Never thought I'd see the day where multiple Lions players are getting team of the years. We had Montgomery Gibbs, Hanay Sewell. 97 overall, Hanay Sewell. Take a look at the height, boys. Six foot five, 331 pounds. Absolute fucking unit. 98 pass. 98 pass block, has 98 run block. I don't know what abilities he gets yet, bro. 
are presumably some really nice discounted abilities. Arasaw is out of there. Pene Sewell is in. We have three team of the years on the offensive line. So we have fool me once, all day, and post up. I'm gonna go all day here, and we'll put him in for Christian Arasaw. The greatest thing a man can see, right there on your screen, all Madden Super Bowl. Coming at you from the sunset on Oahu. Uh, win the Super Bowl to become a season's champion. The challenge wheel is so important in the Super Bowl. If we can do this, we get one pack of our choice at the start of next episode. And damn, if I'm gonna get this, it's gonna be an awesome Super Bowl. Now, keep in mind, next episode, my team will be completely reset. It'll be a new season, new team, and I'll only keep my prestige players. So if I can pull this challenge wheel off, I'll have one pack from the store to severely help that silver ridden team. It's the Super Bowl, Texans taking on the Chiefs. I love, you know what's so funny to me? They give you this coin toss and they don't let you pick heads or tails. It's just such a big fuck you. We got Aiden Hutchinson tight end. He's out there, he's out there talking. I see Trent Williams, I see Shannon Sharp, I see George Kittle. Got all my tight ends are up there. Hey, we're starting on defense. That's always a good thing, boys. Taking on your fave Ginger. Out of position, middle linebacker Gronk is on the return team with Avalanche activated. It's actually kind of insane. If you can get a hit stick with that, it's a fumble. First play on defense. Let's give up nothing big over the top, probably. Okay, it is a pass. Nothing, nothing, nothing! Nick Bosa! Woo! What a way to start the Super Bowl. It gets flushed out of the pocket. In trouble. I'm gonna blitz Derek Stingley. Oh my God, he's running it. Beautiful stop. I got this. I got that! No! Oh, yes! The knockout! That was a laser. That was a great throw. I actually don't know. Was that Sean T? Or was that Derwin J? I don't know who made the play, but amazing work. And Jamar's gonna get a part return here to start out the Super Bowl. Derwin? Damn. All right, boys. How do we start the Super Bowl? I mean, we did just add Panay Sewell and we added Aiden Hutchinson. Get around it, Jameer. Thank you, Jameer. Oh, he's sitting on the juke. Someone tell me Plaxico. Someone to no! What? What kind of bullshit is that? I just snapped it. Oh my God, what? In what universe do I not even get a, like a fake block off? Let's go, Jameer. Get good, get good, get good. Yeah, that made no sense and I understand that. Ooh, Jameer with a slippery little juke. We'll take two yards. All right, let's switch it up. I'm rocking eye form a little too much here. Aiden Hutchinson, tight end, right in the middle. I like it, Hutch. Oh, they even got his eye black. That looks so dope. Um, oh my God, Jameer has him cooked. He just had, he just had a sack. I don't know what happened back there, but now I think we're even. Ty, can we run that back? I, I literally, like, when I threw that ball, I felt someone dive, but I don't know what happened. One thing I can tell you for sure is this guy is sending a lot of heat. Like, consistently sending lots of players on me. I wonder, I feel like Plaxico's shaded outside, but I'm gonna try this anyway. Ooh, Plaxico. What the fuck is that ball? That was such a fucking horrible ball. What a play. What a defensive play. That was a dog shit ball. I didn't get perfect accuracy. I got good accuracy. He threw it so far behind it. Joe Flacco just made a gigantic mistake. He had him burnt. Oh, what the fuck was that, Flacco? You're gonna wait for the Super Bowl to throw a Mallard? When you're this close, why throw? Just take the... No, you're not. No, you're not gonna fucking lag right now. I still took a hell of an angle. Step up. Huge hit! Williams, does he have Truz? I feel like he should have fumbled right there. Gun tray open definitely could be a run play. Or for the inside zone. Can we get there? We were close. We were close, but not close enough. Nice touchdown. That's a huge bummer. That was such a good drive. Oh, I'm so mad at Flacco right now. All right, boys, down seven in the Super Bowl. And uh, I just can't, I can't let my emotions get the better of me. That's why! That's why I say Jamar Chase is how it's going this thing. EA give it! And they take it away. Oh my God. But can we talk about poverty touchdowns, food stamp touchdowns, welfare touchdowns? That's one right there. Special teams, special players, special plays. Hey, it's Texan season. I can make as many sketch references as I want. Seven to seven. Let's fucking go. You know what's crazy about that? When is the last time I returned a kick? I feel like it's been two seasons, maybe three since I returned a kick. All right, hey, what's the good news? We've stopped him on defense already once. His touchdown came when he had like nine yards to go. Right? So we know that we can stop him again. He's got nothing right now. Good throw. Good throw. Oh, Avalanche! 
from Grump. That was a fumble. Hey, I like that though. Guess what? That fatigues it. That hurts those players. I know I didn't get the ball back, but that means a lot to me. Already the Avalanche Gronk making his name. Oh, I gotta like open. I need to show you guys this sunset, man. This is beautiful. Hold up. Come on, man. You can see me, right? Big play. Huge play. Ah, uh, nice find. All right, first and 10. More passes. Oh, that is so close. Second and 10. I don't think he runs it here. It looks like a run set, but I just don't believe it. It really is. Okay. Fine by me. Bottled. Maybe not bottled, but that's a really nice tackle by Stingley. He wants half back. Oh, good find. Okay, he's going to go handoff up the middle. Look who it is. Jalen Carter. Oh, I like that. Oh, couldn't quite get there. Good, good play. Third and two. I had the numbers for that. I don't know why we got bodied right there. I don't think relying on kick returns is exactly an effective strategy. So let's uh, let's ball out. Here's the good news. We get ball at half, right? We get ball at half. So let's score with no time left. And there's Jamar Chase wide open on an RPO. Excellent blocking. Jamar Chase, beautiful work. Simple concept here, Texan stick. Just gonna hit the flat route to Jameer Gibbs, who's got infinite room to roam. So this defense can't stop Jamar Chase. He's got nobody for Jamar Chase here. I am totally correct on that. I mean, he does technically, but you gotta you gotta tackle through the juke, which is pretty much impossible in this game. Second and four, we're milking the clock. Doing exactly what we need to do. I've got Jameer Gibbs on that same flat route, and he leaves it open again. Beautiful. He's going for the punch out there. Jameer, right in the middle. Look at that throw. Like. Dude, like, Flacco can step up and do that Michael Vick shit, but he couldn't hit. <laughs> Whatever. That was a hell of a throw. Great job. Another zone alert bubble here. Gonna actually hand this one off. Woo! First and 10. Let's keep this clock moving. Oh, I like that. Oh, Steve Smith! Oh, that was disgusting. What a catch. I saw him blitz that corner, so I just snapped and threw it. But this is covered. Steve Smith, 13 seconds left. Gonna give us 14 points. So he's got two timeouts in 13 seconds. It's certainly possible, but uh, I feel pretty good about this. Wow, it'd be really nice if he decided to make a mistake here. Oh, oh he's in bounds. Yeah, he's totally in bounds. I think he wants a corner route. Yeah, but... Oh no, nice play. I don't know if he got enough for that though. I don't really like this defense. Never in my life have I seen someone successfully get a playoff with two seconds. But hey, whatever. I guess his only other option is throw Hail Mary where he probably throws a pick, so whatever. Hey, we have a little bit of momentum, not a lot. It's 14 to 14, we start with the ball. I absolutely love. Jamar's gonna take us to the 21. Maybe it's time we find Plaxico Burris over the top. Maybe it's time we find Plaxico Burris over the top! Let's go! Cooked in the man coverage! One play touchdown out of half! Not only does Plaxico have that deep elite ability, so I was probably gonna throw that anyway, but he cooked him. I mean, the only thing I'll say about that that I don't really like is it didn't take any time off the clock. So there's still so much football left. I would have much preferred a four minute drive, but honestly, I think I prefer a one play touchdown. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Don't bite the, don't bite the cock that fucks you. You, that, that tried and true saying. First and 10. Jalen Carter! Uh, dude, I'll never get over how happy it makes me when Jalen Carter makes those plays because it was a bad prestige. It was a bad prestige, I know. It was a bad prestige number-wise, overall-wise, but it was a good prestige in the long run. Does he go halfback? Holy shit, is that God himself? Oh, knockout! Derwin James with a disgusting knockout. That's like a fumble. That's fumble territory levels of knockout. All right, he's definitely running it. Or he's definitely passing. I'm gonna send like a delayed blitz. Oh no, 80 on a corner. Oh, he doesn't take it. Oh my God, let's go. He had the corner out. I was trying to get to it. Maybe he thought I was gonna get to it, but I wasn't. He's got a fourth and five and he's going for it. I've just got to cover um, halfback. Oh no, he's blocking. <gasps> Wait! Let's go! That's a turnover! Sean Taylor steps up and bodies him. That was like on the yard. Oh, let's go! Okay, huge. Absolutely no way I'm throwing a sketchy ball. If I run it three times, burn clock, and take a field goal, I'm perfectly fine with that. Start out with a stretch. Oh my god, that's money. 
Mike Allstott, a huge block, a stiff arm from Gibbs. Cod hit pretty hard, <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh, I'm sitting on zone alert bubble here. I'm just gonna hand this off. Beautiful. Ooh, he got through, but he didn't get through. Gibbs! Can we push this all the way in? Honestly, dude, three run plays would milk so much. Like, what's more valuable here? Seven points or a minute and a half of game time? Should not be good. off to Gibbs. I didn't I didn't click any I didn't click any buttons to hand it off cuz I didn't know that was a fucking read option. If you click no buttons, you keep it with your quarterback. I was utterly shocked when Jameer Gibbs was not moving the way I was intending him to move and it completely fooled him. Hey, we just need to play we need to play nickel and dime soft defenses. We don't have to send aggressive blitzes. Does he want the dig? He sure does. <gasps> Matthew, great breakup. That should be an interception every time. Damn, I could have put this game away right there. I'm mad at myself. Hey, well, if he wants to run zone tosses, we will be just fine. You know what I really like about Enforcer Supreme, the, the Ray Lewis one, is even at those awkward angles, like that was a really awkward angle, he's still got a nasty hit stick animation. He wants halfback. Why this is why we do it! It's why we put middle linebacker Gronk in! He's still up! This might be a rage quit in the Super Bowl. It might be! How have I been without middle linebacker Gronk this whole time? I mean, Van okay, Vanguard Gronk is pretty awesome. He really is. Dude, do I prestige a tight end? It's a touch. Ah, is that a face mask? He's not aggressive. He's not aggressive. Dude, Joe Flacco legacy game. How many of you had on your Wheel of Mutt bingo card? How many of you had Joe Flacco two rushing touchdowns? That's what I want to know. Okay, it might not happen anyway. I feel like I could run this however I want. This is a stretch, and he's clogging the middle. That's a freebie. Once you throw QB sneak at him, they get all nervous. This is a, like, perfect game. How many interception return yards do I have? Wait, we can calculate it. At the end of the game, we can calculate it. Derwin, you have to run forward. You have to run forward, Derwin. Go, Derwin! Okay, that's like four. He's got like four, and then whatever Gronk has is what we have right now. Oh, we actually can get it. Dude, Derwin broke two right there. All right, I can get a little aggressive now. I honestly can. I can I can start to unleash the start to unleash the playbook a little bit here. Let's go hutch tight end. Oh! I was literally destined to win this game. We should have known, gentlemen. The minute I got a kick return touchdown, it would destiny determine that this was my game. And I just feel like there's nothing he can do about that. It's a bummer. I feel bad for him. But what do you do? Gronk whip route. It's there. Maybe. It's not Gronk. It's Hutch. Fourth and three. I gotta go for this, right? I gotta go for this. I don't think I have the interception return yards right now, though. That Derwin one was weak. I'm running this ball because the feds don't want me to. The feds think I'm passing. Holy shit. It's only crazy if it doesn't work. You're, you're only stupid when it doesn't work. When it works, you're a fucking genius. Flacco whiffed that one and he won't let it happen again, right Flacco? See, that's what it, that's the exact ball he was supposed to throw last time, just so we're clear. 40 ball. Now I do apologize guys, I didn't bring any like, I didn't bring any immaculate boxes to Hawaii, but if there's some way I can find a box, I will try and find it for the season opener. I don't know how I'm gonna get a box here though, I'll be honest. Hey, this game was 14 to 14 and I thought we were, we were in for a long day. Mine. Interception yards. Oh, it's such an awkward angle. No, he's good. Good broken tackle, Gronk. Okay. And two on Gronk. No. No. Please. No. Let me get the stats. Ah, <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't. Like, I don't want to cheat it. Gronk's first return, maybe 20-ish yards. Derwin went for four, and Gronk right there went for seven or eight. So by those very rough estimates, we're sitting around 30. My rough estimate has us at 32, but maybe I'm biased. I'm obviously biased. Ah. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, and are we counting a rage quit? I don't know. Okay, gentlemen, the perfect season is complete on one of the best Super Bowls I've literally ever had. He, dude, soon as that game got tough for him, he completely fell apart. It was such a good game up until then. It was 14 to 14. It was 7 to 0. He was up. It was 14 to 7. He was up. I was in trouble. Blacksico made, oh my gosh, how do we tell, how do we talk about this team, man? Jameer Gibbs has been incredible. Steve Smith caught an aggro on Sean Taylor. Blacksico Burris had a burst in that game. The O-line was amazing. Hutchinson caught multiple catches. Gronk middle linebacker. Don't ever talk shit about him. He's such a dog. These safeties were insane. Derwin had some crazy knockouts. Oh my god, that was such a good game. And the opening play was in Nick Bosa sack. What more, what more do you want, gentlemen? That was a monster episode. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Number one, I'm gonna say we completed our challenge wheel. So at the start of next season, we will get one pack from the store of our choosing. It could be a training pack as well. Granted, these training packs aren't great right now. So I probably wouldn't 
and go with this. I'll probably end up going Ultimate Legends, maybe AKA Cruz. Maybe there'll be a new promo out by then, but that's what we're gonna do for sure. I'm not gonna count that as a rage quit. It was in the fourth quarter, but there are some awesome things we do get to open. So when you win an all Madden or a regular season Super Bowl, you get this pack right here, the trophy pack. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what it technically guarantees, but you usually get a lot of good players in this. So I'll have the trophy pack, I'll have our challenge wheel, I'll have our new prestige player, and of course, whatever team we land on, we'll have our new team captain. All right, boys, insane season. It was so much fun. That was such a sick episode. And I'm running out of I'm running out of sunlight. This is perfect. All right, hey, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching as always. You're handsome. I love the girth. I love the vein down the middle. And I will see you guys in the brand new in the brand new next season. Uh, I think there's gonna be two more seasons of Wheel of Mutt. So you have that season and maybe one more. I love you boys. Peace.